Welcome to ProStitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I'd like to walk you through an overview of how the ProStitcher screen is set up and where to find all the things that we use most commonly. So let's take a look at the screen and let's start up here at the top. So the ProStitcher screen is set up with tabs at the top and then we have a ribbon and a sidebar. So let me just open a design quickly. I'll choose a design, grab a block design, and I can walk you through some of the aspects of the tab ribbon sidebar. So up at the top, depending on which tab I have selected, will determine what's available on the ribbon. So if I want to choose modify, you can see I have all of these options available. And my sidebar over here on the right changes depending on which button I have selected on my ribbon. This whole area here is called our workspace and you have to have a design loaded and selected in the workspace for many of the functions to be available. This, let's talk about the tools over here on this side. These tools right here on the very left hand side are called the quick access toolbar. These are all programmable. To, pro to change these, to program them, I can come over here to my settings tab and select it. And on the ribbon, choose display. And remember something is selected when it's green. And in the sidebar, I'll choose the assign button. You can see that these now turn into larger buttons. If I click down here, I have all of these options that I can change my buttons to. This is really nice because you're able to change it based on what you're working on. When you're finished, click the assign button again and your choices will be set. These tools here are called your workspace tools and one of them is always selected. So we have select, pan, zoom, and transform. And let me show you how each of these work. Select allows you to select a design. Now you'll notice on the screen that I have a, mo a mouse pointer uh, that I'm using. Normally I would just be using my finger to press on the screen and move my design around, but I'm using this mouse pointer so that you guys can see more clearly what I'm doing. To use pan, we'll select pan, and pan just changes your view. So if I click and move my design back and forth, all I'm doing is changing my view. I'm not actually changing my design positioning. Another way that you can pan is by using the scroll bars that are here at the bottom and at the side of your screen. So those are available to use. Zoom is a really great tool. It allows you to zoom in in a specific spot. What you do is you take and place your finger on the screen and then drag so it creates a box like that. And when you lift your finger off, it will zoom in on that specific area. Now remember, this tool is still selected. Zoom is still selected. So if I touch, if I just tap the screen, it's going to zoom in again. Um, so when you're done with Zoom, it's really good to get in the habit of just tapping the select button. Now, if I get in and I've zoomed in too much and I want to return to a view that I can see everything that's on my screen, my design, my crosshairs, and an area, if I have them, I can come down here to the bottom right corner and touch the refresh button. That will always bring my crosshairs, which represent where my needle is, my design and area into view on my workspace. Let me show you how transform works. If I click on this, it puts a box around my design with handles. And with these handles, I can easily modify my design just by clicking and dragging on them or putting my finger on them and dragging. I can change in all these different directions. And if I wanna change the rotation, I come to the circle and I can do a rotate of the design really easily. All right, so remember, you always have to have one of your workspace tools selected. I'm gonna go back to my select. Next, let's talk about another set of tools that we can use to zoom or change our view. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, we have a plus and a minus with a little scroll bar between them. They allow you to zoom in and out. You can tap on these or grab the, um, the little slider here and just move it back and forth and you can change the zoom of your screen. 
This is our refresh button, as I mentioned earlier. It brings everything uh, on your workspace into the view, including your crosshairs, your design, and an area. The next one is your actual size. So when we click on this one, it shows the design at the actual size that it will stitch out on your screen. Uh, this one is zoom to area, and since I don't have an area selected, it's not available. Remember that if you ever see a button on the screen and it's not selected, it's not black, that means it's not available. And the last one here is zoom to design. And when I click on this one, it's not going to change much. It's going to zoom to the design that you have selected. All right, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got a couple more buttons that I want to talk to you about. We have our select buttons. We can select none. We have our multi-select button, which allows you to select more than one design at a time. And you'll notice that it stays green when it's active. When you're done using it, you want to be sure and tap that again to turn it off. And then the last one is select all. And it will select all of the designs that are on your screen in the order that you loaded them. All right, well, that is a basic overview of the workspace in ProStitcher Premium. I hope that you have fun using it.